Saiyan here, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about advanced level fursuiting! Yay! You already know the basics, like putting on your suit, getting into character, and taking care of your suit. You probably also know the intermediates, like bowling in fursuit, taking your fursuit on an airplane, and getting free things because you're an animal. Well today, I'm here to talk to you about advanced level fursuiting. <laughs> These tips are for only the most experienced fursuiters, and not for beginners. Okay, let's get started! Yay! Evading throngs of fans because your fursuit is too well recognized. If you have a very recognizable fursuit, you might have to deal with crowds of adoring fans. To evade these fans successfully, try out the following moves. The ninja roll, the parkour roll, and the American football juke. If executed at the speed of 20 miles an hour, you'll be sure to get away from that crowd of adoring rabid fans. Yay! Advanced level fursuiting. Removing a set of handcuffs because your partner forgot to turn up to lock picking practice. Now, if you're using a set of novelty handcuffs, there's probably a tab on the side that you can flick to get yourself out of trouble. However, if you are using professional police grade handcuffs, you will have to call the local fire department. Yeah, I'm stuck in handcuffs again. Yeah, I'm in the hotel room 366. I know you want me. Advanced level fursuit. Getting mayo stains out of your fursuit. If you were unlucky enough to get mayonnaise stains in your fur, well, don't despair. There's a handy dandy carpet cleaner called Folex that you can use to get rid of those stains. Just simply spray, scrub, and the mayo stains are gone. Thanks, Folex. Yay! Helping your friend with a sore back in fursuit. Now, many people think that if your friend has a sore back in fursuit, you have to do this. Unfortunately, that's wrong. That's called the Heimdick maneuver, and that's used when your friend is choking on a piece of bread or some other small item. But what you can do is use a magic wand to massage that knot out of their back. Thanks, Magic Wand, and thanks, Folex. Staying hydrated at the rave when the con is out of protein drink. Now, maybe you're like me, and you're at dancing, and you have a craving for some muscle milk or some other protein drink. Unfortunately, the con's out of protein drink from their protein drink dispenser. Well, don't despair. Just find a nearby gray fursuiter, and with their permission, take a chomp out of them for some fresh protein. Thanks, Gideon! Surviving a zombie outbreak in fursuit. Now, if you're in fursuit and a zombie outbreak happens, never fear. You have one very powerful weapon, which is called your snoot. So simply poop your snoot on the zombie, and if you hit him on the cranium, they're gonna knock out straight away. Make sure to keep your fursuit head on, because fursuits give you extra superpowers. Stuck in fursuit because you were cursed by an ancient shaman? Hey, if you were cursed by an ancient shaman to be trapped in your fursuit forever, well guess what buddy? You're gonna have to adjust to your new life as a full-time anthro. There's no cure for this. Just enjoy being covered in fuzz all the time. Pop. Advanced level fursuiting. Lost your fursuit tongue in a dance circle? If you had the embarrassing wardrobe malfunction of losing your tongue in a fursuit dance circle, never fear. Just simply improvise a routine using that lost piece of your body. It was completely intentional, okay? And everyone will cheer for you. Yay! Lost your advanced fursuit handler in a crowd? If you've lost your advanced level fursuit handler in a crowd, never fear. Just simply send out your universal fursuit distress signal and your handler, who is trained to detect it, will go and perform it with you. Like so. Overheating during your fursuit bed photo shoot? If you're overheating whilst having bed photos taken of your fursuit, never fear. Just simply emit a high-pitched squeal, which will cool your body by 3%, and it will probably also weird out the camera person enough for them to wrap up the photo shoot. It's really killing two birds with one squeal. Stay too long in fursuit, and now you're simultaneously in two dimensions. So if you've been in fursuit for hours and hours, and you're now experiencing yourself in two dimensions at once, firstly, check to see, are you at a Doctor Who convention? Secondly, check to see if you're wearing a V our headset. If none of the above are true, quickly go to the nearest headless lounge and hydrate as much as possible. That way, you'll literally sweat out all the remnants of the ghost parallel dimension that you've been experiencing. That or you're probably dehydrated and getting the spins from not drinking enough. Yay! You accidentally signed up for the fursuit hunger games instead of the fursuit games. Now, this is a pretty innocent mistake that a lot of people make at cons. So if you accidentally put your name on the sign-up sheet for the 
first suit Hunger Games, which is a fight to death battle with other furry teenagers. Never fear, just quickly hack into the Google document, put in a friend's name, and then flee the convention, and then never return again. You see your fursuit crush, but you've been in fursuit for a long time, and you're self-conscious about your sweat. So if you're at a convention, and you see your fursuit crush, but you feel kinda stinky, well never fear, grab a towel, and wrap it around yourself to signal that you are freshly bathed. And, if there's a donut store nearby, just run inside there, and just bathe in all of the sweet aromas of that donut store. You're gonna be smelling sweet, and looking like you've been out of the shower, even though you're a dirty furry covered in a lot of sweat. Stub your toe while silent suiting? Well never fear, try to avoid making any noise whatsoever by taking a vow of silence. Silence. A new soft drink out on the market. Remember, you can't be screaming if you're drinking. Bumped into a fursuit friend of yours, but you forgot their name. Well, it's actually pretty simple. Look down at their badges, and then pass that. Now find their phone, grab their phone, log into the Twitter app, and see what their username is. That way, you'll be sure to know what their name is. Hiya, Darby at Midwest Fur Fest. Advanced level fursuiting smell removal technique. Now if your fursuit's really smelly, here's how to get rid of the bad smell. Simply grab an alcohol like vodka, chug it, now you can't smell anything. Cause if you're drunk, everything smells okay. Yay! Hey, that was a bunch of advanced level fursuiting tips. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this. Now you have a fantastic day, shout out to my super secret patrons, and I will catch you next time! Yay! Advanced level bed rubbing.